Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Portal Knights. Um, in this episode, because my stone pickaxe is in the yellow of durability, I'm going to press 8 um, to use my sharpening stone and raise this durability, which has a cooldown, which sort of makes sense, sort of doesn't. Um, and then I'm going to do that again on my wand. Uh, so right now, just double check about bone, scales, and cotton. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention in the last episode, because <laughs> I talked so much, you'd be surprised I can forget something. Um, I would like to make the uh, the mystic stuff. So I need co I do need cotton. Um, I've only got three. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need nine cotton cloth. I only have three, and it takes four cotton to make a cotton cloth. So I need six more times four is 24 uh except that in here i've got two so i need 22 more cotton i've got 16 cotton seeds so that's nice um let's see where is my starting point landing pad landing pad is up here um so then i'm trying to think of like where i could make a little uh patch of ground where I can start farming uh, cotton. Oh look! <laughs> there's, I forgot. There's already a sort of cotton farm thing and a uh, bunch of wood over here. Um, the reason why I can break these so easily and it's giving me so many refined wood blocks is because these are just crates. Um, so it's giving me plenty of wood that I could use to build like a bigger house or something. Uh, which I might do eventually, but I haven't really had much of a need uh, for a bigger house. I've always been sort of uh, content with what I've got. It's just sort of my uh, my tool shed, basically. Um, but I am actually going to put those in my treasure chest, because I don't really want to deal with them at the moment. Um, let's see. So yeah, here... Uh, it's actually a bit of a cotton farm already. That's going to give me three cotton. Wow. Already. Um, per three cotton per stack. So I think that was six. It was like 18. So that already um, helped me out quite a bit. And um, here's some wheat so I can repair the roof, which I'll eventually do. I think I'm just going to put... I mean, um, oh yeah, yeah, it's wheat. Because I remember the last episode I called it hay. Uh, now here... Um, the wheat is still growing, so I don't want to cut that down or anything. Otherwise, it'll just sort of be a waste of time. It'll give me seeds, but it'll just give me the same seeds that have already been planted. So, let's put the wheat in there, um, as well as the wheat seeds, and then move the cotton seeds into my inventory. Uh, I've, I already forgot how many I said I wanted to build or plant or whatever. And, oh look, um more wheat. Uh, so here, another thing that I want to mention is that there's a lot of ground clutter, a lot of grass and flowers and stuff, uh, which looks nice and everything, but it kind of gets in the way when I'm trying to plant stuff. So I'm going to go to the display settings, and uh, I'm going to turn off the shadows and the bloom. I'm going to turn on normal maps and turn off... Well, I'm going to turn off normal maps, I think. I'm not really sure exactly how what that means. Uh, and then also the scatter objects. So that now it's all clear and plain and I can actually see where I'm going to be planting my stuff. Um, I'll start in this corner, might as well. And then just plant all my cotton. Um, and then I don't know the specific time frame for how long it takes for these to grow. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's based off real world time and not in-game time. And I know it kind of takes a while. So I'm just going to leave those there. And then eventually I'll come back to those. And we'll see how it has progressed. Um, but for now. Let's see how many cotton cloths I can make. Four. And makes gives me seven total. How much did I say I needed for... Uh, this account? It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So... Um, oh right, I need electro quartz. <clears throat> I only need, what was that, two more cotton? Which is really not that much. I could probably go find that on the island. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, 
Okay, so I need six, um, six electro quartz dust, which means I need 12 raw electro quartz. But I've already got two, so I need 10 more. Um, as well as, let's go for the cotton. So I'm gonna go look for more cotton. And again, I personally prefer having the ground clutter off. Um, I know that it sort of makes the game look less pretty <laughs> or whatever, like, uh, and also I know I'm mining wheat, not the, um, not the whatchamacallit, the cotton, but I figured I might as well pick it up while I'm here. Um, for me, uh, I like the ground looking clear and clean so that I can see where the stuff I'm looking for is, but um, if you guys in the comments want to let me know if that sort of like bugs you or makes the game look less good or anything like that um, and if you prefer I keep it on then yeah I'll totally switch it back um, but I'm mostly just turning it on here for when I'm trying to find specific things um, so yeah I think I did already get all the cotton I need but I know that I'm gonna need more cotton eventually because there's a lot of stuff that uses cotton um, especially if I'm going to be, like, making the armor for another class or something. Um, there's some up here. Also, sorry if it's kind of dark right now. Uh, because, you know, it's nighttime. But, um, I'm going to turn Bloom back on and see if that helps a little bit. I know that doesn't actually mean that, like, it's just, um, turning on the light or something like that. Um, but anyways. I don't think I really need any more wood right now, so and ignore the trees. I could definitely uh, get some more of the berries. But anyways, I can do that later. Um, so I've got plenty of cotton now. <laughs> plenty. Um, with 27, that can give me like, what, six or so? Um, one, class, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Uh, which only takes six seconds. Um, right, and I keep forgetting. I still need the electro cords. Um, although I could make the cape. I might as well make the cape now. Uh, even though the cape... Well, I'll make the cape for now. But uh, if I go to my inventory, Pioneer Cape. The Pioneer Cape gives me 1% mana regen and health regen. And the Mystic Cape only gives me plus 1 mana regen. So it's not really going to be beneficial for me to wear it right now. Plus, it already kind of matches my outfit. So um, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to put that in a treasure chest so that it's not taking up space. Um, and then let me put the wheat away, wheat seeds, and those over. Um, yeah, all right. So now I'm going to head over to the Dusty Mountain. I'm going to look for the raw electro quartz because, like I mentioned already, I need like 10 more to make enough dust for the armor and then I'm gonna need more for the spell so let me double check that spell lightning zap I need four so that's like eight total so I do need quite a bit more um, oops totally fell down that there we go all right so that sand shell is probably one of the weakest enemies in the game in my opinion because he kind of just walks up and stands in front of you and doesn't do anything and then he'll uh he'll like spin at you which is you know nice and all but it doesn't really do much damage like even to a mage um uh even like in the later levels the sort of stronger version of them only does like five damage and uh five damage is not very much in this game <laughs> um but let's see so i've already got seven right now i needed what was it like 12 or no, because then I said I didn't need like eight more. So I need like 20 um, total. And uh, yeah, there's one down here. Um, and I could probably get more cactus. Or no, this is the agave for, um, for my uh, mana potion. But I will chop down the cactus because that gives me water. That's right. Doesn't give me like cactus seeds or anything. Uh, I mean, it does give me cactus seeds, but it doesn't, uh, 
whatchamacallit. What am I trying to say? It doesn't give me like a cactus plant to use or whatever. Um, and again, I prefer... Uh, oh, the copper. Uh, I prefer turning off the uh, ground clutter when I'm doing my mining and farming type stuff. Um, as well as... well. Um, also, I forgot that, yeah, I do need copper ore for stuff. I don't know why I was forgetting that I was looking for that. Um, oh, right, and I need to uh, repair my pickaxe. Uh, you can get better uh, mining gear, but I don't really know how much greater it is because, uh, especially iron, I did not find a lot of iron when I was playing as my hunter character. Like, I used a lot of iron in armor crafting and um, upgrading my workbench and everything, but I never really had any leftover where I could just be like, oh yeah, this is uh, iron I can throw into a pickaxe or um, or use for this uh, like furniture piece or something. Like, iron was always really, really rare for me. Um, and I'm getting quite a lot of this raw electro quartz. Um, so that is good. So I don't have to worry about uh, running out of it anytime soon. Because I know that there's some other stuff that I could use it for, so I don't mind getting extra. Because, like I said, iron is really rare. This raw electro quartz, not so much. <laughs> um, although that is kind of enough for now. Uh, I do want to show you that these things... It took me a long time to realize what I'm supposed to do with them, and I thought I heard like an enemy or something. Um, there's, it took me a while to realize what you're supposed to do with these. Uh, if you dig under them, um, then there's a little cave down here, which I'll turn on my wand and then get some loot. And uh, I'll just break these uh, these pots open to get some more loot, which uh, is actually where I get a lot of my sharpening stones. I don't actually use a lot of stone. And oh look, I'm stuck down here. Good thing I can teleport back to my house, because now I've got electro quartz, which I can use to make armor. And a skill and probably a weapon well I mean I can use the basic weapon it'd be nice if there was some way to actually like upgrade the specific weapon that I'm using rather than just make a better weapon like if I could make a rank 2 electro wand rather than just making a staff of nature or something um, that'd be cool uh, but let's see so I need to go here to get electro quartz, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I believe. So I need it. It takes five seconds to make it. So let's see. Lightning zap was four. I think I needed more than that. Uh, of the mystic, it was one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I'm making eight, then I do need to make two more. Um, it's just going to make it take 10 more seconds. Uh, I saw a gameplay of someone playing this game where they were able to take the ones that they had already made and then just leave the rest of them crafting, but on this one it doesn't... I don't know if they were playing a different version or something. Okay, Verdant Emerald on that one. Verdant Emerald for... Oh, I can make Enrage for Electro Court, but I don't really need it. Um, let's see, so... How much water do I have? Four. And... Uh, some garbage make a few more um, mana potions. So that's right, I made the electric quartz. And now if I no, I still use the altar for my mystic gear. Which is actually what you might have noticed. Um, it's what my character Rise was wearing on my uh, other account or whatever. My other character. And then the pants. Nice, and I've still got a bit of cotton cloth and electro quartz dust left over. And let's see, let's equip all of my mystic gear. Let's see, and now it would. Uh, oh, that's right, I have um, oops, I have it in my treasure chest. Uh, so now I'm a mystic, which I do kind of wish I gave myself a beard or something, because I mean, what kind of wizard doesn't have a beard? Gosh. Um, oops. Uh, and then I'll put my leftover gear in here. Unfortunately, bleh, unfortunately, there's no kind of like selling option, so you can't like sell your gear. You just dump it whenever you're done with it. It's kind of sad. 
And oh look, I have a raw verdant emerald. That probably dropped from an enemy that I wasn't paying attention to. Uh, so I got some more electric quartz dust. What can I make with that? Today, no, nah, I still need to. Still need to make my lightning zap skill, which really isn't that powerful, but it can be a nice little um, bonus. And now to make the lightning zap too, to make it even stronger, which uh, actually quite a bit stronger, um, as well as it'll make it debuffed to where it gets increased electric damage. Um, I'll need some verdant emerald dust, which, as you can guess, comes from the raw verdant emerald, which uh, verdant emerald dust requires four of those. Anyways, so weapon, copper staff of nature, raw verdant and copper bar which I did get some copper, which means I can go to the furnace and make some copper bars, which I really only made one. Wow. <laughs> All right then, which is enough as long as I get some more refined verdant emeralds. Uh, let's see, how many of these can I make? Just a few, but how many do I have? I have 13, which means I can actually get through two more portals, which is what I might do right now. Um, can put that there. And I'm actually going to store, uh, oops. there we go. Uh, I'm going to store my Electro Quartz, I'm going to put my Verdant Emerald down there. Uh, don't really care about the Cactus Seed, might as well keep the Copper with me, don't need the Scales, or the Coal, or any of this stuff really. Um, Yeah. All right, I like to keep some dirt with me in case there's like a cliff that I need to scale or something. And I can just build my way across or whatever. So anyways, um, now I have this uh, attack spell, the uh, electro charge, which actually I'm going to move closer to my uh, weapon and stuff. Let's put that right there. Did I just... There we go. Um, and yeah, I might as well just move it there, which kind of bugs me. I'll move it there, I guess. All right. Um, so I need to locate the portal of this world. Um, let's see. Let me get a good look. Um, I think that's it over there. So now we shall make our way across. And there's still plenty of copper ore and uh, electro quartz here. So if I need to get more copper for whatever reason, then I know I can always come back. But here's the portal where I will be um, traveling to the next world. And hopefully it will have some raw verdant uh, emeralds. Although I really could just fight more monsters. But Oh well. Um, it is the emerald fields that had better have some emeralds in it. <laughs> uh, it most likely will. Um, and let's see, how long is this episode? Oh, it's about time to end the episode. Uh, which, of course, like last time, that means it's like five more minutes. Um, but let's see. I want to get some emeralds uh, before this episode is over. Alright. And, oh, look, a portal. I'm going to fill up this portal um, just for the sake of getting that out of the way. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go through it right now. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to lightning zap which did um, some damage, not a ton, and then just spam away and he just stands there and does nothing. Oh look, he gave me cotton. Cool. Um, and that's some coal down there. There's a lot of seeds planted, which is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I can't jump that far. Um, trying to find some emeralds. Let's actually look on the map and it'll say, it says that there's nothing here. Um, that is a bug, because there is obviously stuff here. Um, but everything does still seem to be, like, all in its seed form. Um, interesting. So, oh, right, um, uh, what was I going to say? He really doesn't do very much damage to me. But, let's see, he might drop some emerald. Oh, look, I leveled up, which just increases my stats a bit. Um, yeah. Let's see, I really want to find some emerald before I leave this place. Or before I end the episode, I mean. Definitely going to find some emerald before I leave. Um, 
Surprised there's surprised it's not more abundant. Um, and look, here's the other portal that uh, I'll eventually be going through. Let's see. No, I'm not seeing any emerald. So maybe there aren't any emeralds in this place, uh, unless it's just uh, unless it's just the emeralds that the uh, enemies drop or something, which is kind of lame. Kind of like there's something next to me. Uh, it's kind of lame, considering this place is called the Emerald Fields, but that's eh, fine. Um, these uh, Hollow Knights of Thunder are a bit more dangerous than the um, uh, than their Frost counterparts, but um, yeah, they're just going to be dropping the Electro Quartz. Ah, get hit by two of them. Um, right, let's use a potion. Um, oh boy. I was going to use a mana potion too, but then I remembered about the cooldown. Oy. Which is why um, you might have noticed that there was a healing spell. Oy. You might have noticed there was a, ah. <laughs> um, a healing spell that I could learn that... Um, that costs verdant emeralds to make. Oh man, am I gonna survive this battle? <laughs> um, I actually really like the combat in this game. Even if it is pretty simple, um, it does require some strategy because of how much you have to dodge everything. Um, which is why I really don't like playing as a warrior because even if you're dodging, you're still going to jump right back in their face. Whew, man. Um, Alright, it still says nothing useful here. Uh, maybe it's because I didn't actually go through the portal. That it bugged it out or something. Because I just teleported. Um, but anyways. So I got some stuff that I'll have to deal with later. Uh, I'm going to teleport back home before I leave. And, oh yeah, here's... Um, Next place, Burning Sands. But because I haven't actually been in the Burning Sands, that's why it doesn't say the info. Not that it specifically says there's nothing here. Um, so I'm going to travel back to the Peaceful Hills to heal up after that intense battle. And let me guess. Yep, it was just about five minutes since I said that I was going to end the episode and that it would be about five minutes. Did not plan it intentionally. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to head back here for now. And, uh... I totally forgot what I was going to do. Let me look back on the map real quick. See, does it say... There we go. So, yeah, no, there's just coal and stone. There's no emeralds in the emerald fields. That's so lame. Um, so I'm going to need to... Uh, ah, jeez, not again. Um, I'm going to need to uh, get some more crystals, or the portal stone shards. So I've got six. It can be three more, so I need four more shards. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.